All right, joining us now, the man who won a $380,000 Lamborghini and then crashed it the same day, David Dopp. David, my man, how you doing? You okay? I'm doing good. Yeah, thanks. Sir. Uh, all right, I just want to make sure that you're, you're plenty safe. Now, I, I just want to make sure that I get the story straight. You were doing, like, 55 miles an hour, and you hit some black ice or gravel, and that's when you spun out? Yeah, we were coming up a hill and around the corner, and we're going around 45 or 50, and we just hit that black ice and just put us into a spin because, you, you know, that car is super light, and it just didn't want to stick to the ice. Okay, now, I'm not saying I'm one of those people, but you can understand there's a few people out there that are saying, hmm, that story sounds pretty fishy. I'm just saying that, you know, you're in a new Lambo, and you're doing, like, the speed limit, and it was the black ice that caused the crash? It wasn't excessive speeds? No, I don't think so. It was black ice. Like, we had oncoming cars coming towards us. I wasn't going fast when any was, anybody wasn't even around, so... Okay, now have you gotten an estimate on how much the damage is going to cost you? Actually, no. It's uh, it's on its way to Vegas, and uh, their technicians are going to determine that the prices of all that when it gets down there. So, now were you looking to keep the car, or were you going to sell it? Uh, I was uh, I was planning on selling it. And what were you going to do with the cash? Well, I uh, actually had buyers already lined up to take it. I just was waiting for them to come and pick it up, and when I actually wrecked it, but. We are planning on paying off the house, and I, my wife, she's just a wonderful mother of six, so she deserves a nice car, so I'm going to buy her a brand-new car. So these guys who wanted to buy it before, has their price gone down at all? Um, we're still talking. They just called me today, actually. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I, I, if you had to do anything over again, what would you do differently? Uh, not drive on the outskirts of town on a road that I wasn't very familiar with. <laughs> Well, David Dopp, I, I congratulate you on your win, and I hope your 2012 is much safer. All right, buddy?